Hey guys, Bruce here, continuing my playthrough of Atlas Whistleblower. Um, in the last one, really not much has happened story-wise. We're still trying to get out of here. We still got the cannibal chasing us. Oh man, you scared me. Not much has happened. I don't know if there's really supposed to be much of a story. Other than this guy leaked the information. I doubt he makes it out alive. He looks nervous. I would like to kill him. As would I. That's you again. Where's your twin? in this area. I didn't know how to think about that. Okay. Um, headphones got tangled up there for a second. Um. Close this. got another one and I'm not sure you're going to be able to check it out as psychopathic proximity disorder. Security guard all the way up in the admin block is our latest non-patient employee to start seeing Wernick's fairy tales. He was never directly exposed to the engine, never even made it below level one in the building. It would be an enormous breach of protocol and security if doctors were speaking of the wall rider within the hearing of a contracted security card. guard and seems vachingly improbable that he would stumble onto such obscure mythological story on his own. It's too similar to the Dr. Samuel case or the others before him. It's one thing for formerly same medical personnel to fall under the delusions of their patients. It's another thing for an entirely for those believed to be, I don't know, airborne? You need to talk in person, feelings. So that's why Miles was starting to see and feel everything. Um, is this not where I go? Oh, okay. Just keep pushing forward. Oh. What are you running from? Actually, this doesn't seem like a big area, so what's in here? Nothing, really. Nothing at all? What's the point? Nothing? Okay. Turn her up. I'm guessing we're getting close to the radio. Them. They'll tell you it's science, but it, it's not. They were waiting for us in this place. Billy understood. 
They've always been here. Are you gonna jump? No. Video? No, another empty office for no reason. gonna save Don't be afraid, you're doing his work, whether you know it or not. Uh, the... Somebody who looks as much like a priest says this place looks like an asylum, writing instructions on the wall, talking about gold. It tells me not to be afraid. How was I ever part of this inhuman BS, greed-driven moral genocide? The monsters murk off and rip from tortured minds, the lengths of their jack-booted business school of worms will go to protect it. Their own men slaughtered. I've never prayed in my life, Lisa. But as some small-minded interventionist god is listening, kill Jeremy Blair before I die. Sanity and avarice. There's no pain he doesn't deserve. There is no radio. No hope of reaching the outside world. Only a Okay. Oh god, one of them's coming! It's not even human anymore! Block it! Okay. Shut it in!
Jeez, it is pitch black. Um. Oh, here we go. Why? What? Oh. Burn the building. We're some death here. Kill us. Kill us. What's the point of this? If I can't go through this one, why is this one unlocked? Is there like a ledge I can jump on? Huh. still on electricity I need to think Lisa I thought the power was evidence that some manageable some human force still controls some small part of the Mount Massive but nothing human or sane can do anything here but survive and even that not for long you're always the reasonable one Lisa you would tell me to calm down to take a larger view madness and humanity humanity rule this place whatever is keeping the electricity flowing is trying to trap me here I need to shut it down again. Shut it down again. I think I can do that.
Yes. Close it. Okay. Now I'm here. Straight? No. But wait, there was a battery in out there. I remember. No. What? I remember seeing it. How do I get beyond? It's like over there. down into the water. Battery? Guess so. I'm sure this is going to be great. Oh boy. Keep pushing forward. You got much else going for you. Yeah, that's the battery I saw. Ouch. It would be so easy. I don't believe it in believe in it anymore getting the truth out. There is no truth. Only lies we've accepted to long to to double back on. It's our children, Lisa. I would take the easy way out if it wasn't for the boys. This place to hell. I'll suffer anything to get out of it. Anything. I thought I was trying to use the administration office to get out of here, not climb this thing. Like a water tower or something. Oh, 
sense in pulling a mad dog's tail. We'd feed him a goat and leave him alone. This is not good. I have a very bad feeling about all of this. A gift for the groom. Back inside, like the harder I try to escape, the deeper I get. Dead men aren't su a surprise anymore, suicide seeming wise. And I got those batteries. What was that? If they catch us, give us to him. The man downstairs. I don't know who I'm listening to. yourself it's just you <laughs> I don't know where to go um. Crap, man. Well, that's nice. Thanks. Um, I just don't know. There we go.
Okay. I think I'm safe up here. So I am going to go ahead and end this episode right here because I was actually out of time a little bit ago, but pushed forward a little bit. Um, yeah, it looks like we have a new enemy who talks to himself. So, yeah, come back tomorrow and watch me get away from that. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great day.